Hello everybody, this is Naomi. I'm back. Today we're going to finish up putting some lace in here and then we're going to do the walkthrough. Uh, a lot of things I've already done. That way this video won't be so long. So we're just going to do a quick flip to the first page that needs some lace put down. And we're going to do that. Like I said, for the most part, I've done all the heavy, heavy laces that I knew would take some time to lay down and stick, so it wouldn't take as long. So now we're just coming back with some little laces like this. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have this page with the, the green. And I hope you enjoy seeing the finished product of this. Uh, I'm kind of proud of it. Um, I went up and beyond uh, my comfort zone but with everything that I've seen as far as bow hole this was the way that it needed to go so that's the way I did it and I got a little bit I got a trim off here which is no biggie we just trim it like that then I have a little bit here. We trim it. Okay, this one has a little bit. Got a little bit we got to trim off here. Okay. So, like I said, you can see a lot that I've already done, but I knew they would take a little longer to get them to stick down. So I went ahead and did it off camera. That way we could do this a little faster. Because some of these heavier trims take a little more effort to get them to lie down and stick. You know what I mean? And I went with short laces, long laces, frilly laces. Okay. All different color laces because <laughs> I was wanting my ribbons and laces to match so I kind of coordinated the uh, boho uh, tassel that I made to coordinate with my uh, ribbon and laces. And this is all new for me because I'm not used to doing that. So. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. And as you see, I put some tassels on the ends of things.
this one I probably should have went ahead and put down, but I thought, well, I should be able to get it to ease down. Because it's a tassel -y type as well. come back and trim up the edges and do that one now because it's already sticking out there and looking kind of funny. Get the edge. There we go. We got one. See where that one is sticking out. Okay. So that's sticking out good. And then I got this page. Put it down right here. This one. This is more one of the little fifier ones. But this is also some of the Timu um, lace that I just recently got. So this gives me a chance to use it and just see how well it does. Alright, so there's that. Gotta trim up just a little piece down here. So there's that one. And then we have this one. Let's go in here. And then we'll do a quick walkthrough of everything I've put in the journal and things I've made for the journal. This is another uh, boho, I mean not uh, boho, but uh, Timu lace that I got. And so far they've been pretty good laces. But this is the first use of them, so... done. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Today is Monday. Uh, have everybody had a good Memorial Day weekend. We didn't do anything other than just kind of sit at home and enjoy our time together. So, was pretty nice. 
I did some work on my journal while my husband watched his movies. Okay, there's that one. That one's done. Um, I'm going for that one. Going to the next one. This one is going here. Sticking good. Nothing on this one. This one, we're gonna put some red. Make this red pop out in these little circles. Is, uh, sticky. Now let's skip this page. Okay, we went that way with this one. We're gonna go the opposite way with this one. Okay, and now I'm taking this piece. I waited to put this down, and I'll show you why. But I'm taking this piece. Because it's a feather, but it's a it's a plastic feather. I found these at Dollar Tree. And I wanted to incorporate them. So I'm putting this one right here. Okay. And I think we're to the back. Alright. So, let's do the walkthrough. Let me cover up my glue. Put the lid back on my glue. Because we're only at 14 minutes, and that's what I was hoping was for a quick 
fast video so that when we do the walkthrough, the walkthrough always takes a little longer. Now I can move this out of the way. Okay, so this is the um, the tassel that I decided to go with. And as you see, it's got all the colors that we just put in. And it's going to clip right here. So that's the way it'll be on the side of my journal. So let's take it off and we'll go through the journal first. But here's what the journal looks like. Tassels at the bottom, lace at the top, put lace on the spine. And on the back, we just kind of lapped it a little on the plain side. I did the trim and the gold and then did put the uh, book corners, just like I did here. Okay, so we're going to open it up. And our first thing is I made this pocket here and I decorated it. It has a tag. I changed the butterfly here and then I made this stamp to go on it and then I put this piece off of the material from this on here and I put a little lace and then this is a tag that we made with the group and I just trimmed it out in blue it's double sided you can take the picture Let's see, it opens up on one side. You can take the picture and the tag out. You can fill it out. And then I made this belly band for the center. And then you just put, I put this so it wouldn't slide all the way through. Trimmed it out in some pink. Here's some more of those butter, those uh, feathers. And I trimmed this one out in pink. And I'm just leaving these two pages as straight up journaling pages then i put a um, material pull tag here i cut this out De uh, put the blue ink around the edges made it a side tuck this here was already this way i put this emblem in the center And that's that. There's another journaling page. Then I made a material tuck. And I made another stamp to go on it. This was part of the trimming. Leaving this page, I put lace on this page. And I made a pocket here. This was one of the pockets that came with the kit. I put this this was part of the center of the the trimming the, of the that come out of here, and I just inked it blue, put a flower on it, and this is one of her cards. I put blue paper in it, inked it up, and we're making that as another journaling space. Well, I don't know. This is not part of the kit. This is part of another kit. Then I put trim on this page, flop this page to write on. Same with these two. Some of them just got enough decorations on them. You really don't need to do anything to them. Then here is this page. Whenever I seen this butterfly page, it automatically came to me that this is what I wanted to do to it. I've seen different varieties of this to where they just have one page where it folds back. I have both pages. And on this side, I put uh, write actual writing lines. And you can either write here and cover it up with the main page, or you can leave it as it is. So here's another pull tab. Here is another uh, pocket that came with the kit. I put one of those 
uh, feathers on it and this was a, kit, a card that came with it with the tag and I just put the tag on it inked it up then we put the PT colored lace on it this <clears throat> is an envelope that came with the kit I made this stamp and I glued it the, the top of the envelope down that way this can be folded out journaled on folded back up and you wouldn't know that that's what it was for then I got this tag and I just I didn't glue it all the way down and I left it so it looks like it's just a pocket so it's kind of a hidden journaling spot basically then we put some red trim down I put another one of these feathers here and we had these strips it was like strips of washi instead of cutting it all in two I used all four together and made a pocket out of it come back and put a piece of lace in the center and used one of the faux uh, feathers and put in the center and then this was an image and I took the picture frame and cut it out and went around it and just left it as a journaling card and it just slides easily in that and then this is a gypsy holding a tambourine and I just made it out of a uh, a journaling card put in some blue lace I left these two pages put another tab and I love this image of this lady here so what I did with her I made her a flip out so you got journaling space here journaling space here and journaling space here and then I put this gorgeous purple tassel trim down, which is my favorite colors, which is purple. <laughs> okay, then we have these two, which is out of another kit, but I incorporated it because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of paper pages, plenty of different colors throughout my journal. So this is a uh, secret signature two. And then here, this is just a pocket that came with the kit. I left it as it was. I made this tag was part of the kit. I put this little thing here as a tuck. And we have different women images and I just use it as a tuck. And then we have a um, boho wagon. And these things are normal gypsy wagon. They're normally beautifully decorated. So this goes in here with plenty of running space on all. And then this is a journaling card as well. That gives you more room. And then I use this one as a decorated this one here, this image was already here. I made two pages of this and made a giant pocket because I didn't want this image to be um, not seen. So I made a long postcard. Normally these are shorter, but I stretched it out with a um, scrapbooking page, uh, kit that I've got made another uh, stamp inked it up and then there's another journaling spot right right with this one then I left these two pages put more flowers here put this here flip it here we have a two page flip with journaling spots Okay, this was just a card. This was another thing that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. It's another sticker set. But this was just a card, and I took and just glued the sides. 
trimmed it up and we're using it as a tuck. And here are two more of the cards that was in the kit. I can't remember, but yeah, it was all there. So you've got all this writing space. And then this one. I took the center tabs and I put butterflies on them. And they, you know, when you open them up, they're in different positions. Now these were in the kit. They're supposed to be pockets. I didn't want any pockets. I wanted plenty, so I've got them as, you can fold them out and use them as journaling spots. Fold them back up, tuck it over, and they just look like pictures. Same here. You could always put another picture here, however you want to do it. I mean, and you flip it over, here's the... Uh, hidden paper clip that I made with the material. I just slid in a journaling card in behind it. Here's some more of this dangling lace. I flipped it over. Here's the back side and I just put another journaling card up in here. Lap this page, put a, put a feather there, put some pretty lace. Here is another journaling, I mean, um, pocket that came with the kit. Like I said, I didn't do anything with it. I made these tags. This image was part of the kit, and I cut down another picture to fit here. And then this is out of another, some, somewhere I got. But, and they're both journaling spots as well. Put some lace here. This is a um, like a library card holder, and I didn't want it attached, so I attached it to the book. Made it as a flip, and here's the card that goes with it. And I just glued in a female image on the back and stuck it inside. Then we have another tab with material. And here is my passport book. It fits perfect in the center of my journal. Uh, yes, mine is larger. Another one of those things that I did with my scrapbooking kit. I stretched it out. And everybody, we've already seen all of this one, but I'll do a quick little thumb through. And then you got cards here. And you got a tuck here. And these are real stamps. Some more cards here. These are pockets and they have cards in them. There's another one of those pulls. See, here's the original. Okay, come on. Tight, snug fit. And then there's that. And then I just hang the beads out the top and slide it over. But we'll pull it out so it's out of the way for the moment. Here is another journaling spot. And I had these old dangle beads. They used to go on an old lamp. You know how they used to tangle down or tassel down from a lamp? I pulled them off of that lamp before I got rid of the lampshade. And here is another one of these die pieces. I cut the lady out and put her in the center of it, inked up the die, put some feathers here, and only just glued it in certain places and made a tuck spot out of it. And here's this envelope with another handmade stamp to open it up and it's got cards inside and then I took this image this was part of the kit glued it down to give it a little bit of 
decorative background and then you just slide that back in just like that here's another tab that I've made and I took this flower and I uh, put some what is it uh, stickles on the flower made it a little shiny this is a pocket that came with a kid. I put this flower on it, put boho, found this image here, glued it in. And then we have this image that was part of the kit. I just inked it up. And then I have this tassel. Still trying to get it to lay down. <laughs> it was wrapped around the old... Um, ribbon bob and and i just left these two pages they were too pretty to cover up so i left them put some trim down this side here is my boho uh dream catcher and i decided that i wanted it in my book so I designated one page for it. And I'll, I'll just glue this down to a little bit of glue. Just enough to kind of hold the feathers. They're not tacked down all the way as you see. As I wanted them to be able to move. So there's that. You flip it over. And here are two pieces. These were on a page to, you know be able to use like this this was on actually one of the pages like this I cut the key out backed it and I used it as like this and then this page is a regular journal page and one of the edges that I cut off of here is here as decoration and I put the dreamer on here and then this is a journaling card as well so there's that and then I put another hinge here now this one okay I took part of the washi tape strip and I put lace on both sides and then I cut out all those paper feathers and then I just kind of crisscrossed them up it and I took one of the butterflies and put stickles on it mm, excuse me and made a belly band and then we put some lace on this page as well with some gold to and then here is one of the wagon wheels that's as you see got beads all over the wheels and the decorated with all the trims and stuff like that and then I found this fortune teller's eye that I thought was interesting this is kind of where I got my idea from a piece I will be showing here pretty quick so you just stick these under here and then you've got more journaling space flip this over I laughed this page this technically was supposed to be like a journaling card. I didn't use it for that. I made it out of a pocket. And then this was a page for the journal. I didn't use it in the book. And here are some more of the feathers. I just took and turned them around. One side is copied right. The other side is reversed. That way you would get the, you know, the opposite side. And I just made a writing book to go in it. And then put these feathers. So that goes there. And you can either dangle these out or do it like I do. Just kind of stick it in the pocket. Here's some of this lacy trim. And over here, I didn't do anything. I added these two pieces here. Lapped this page. This page was just too pretty to do anything with. That's why I didn't. Made another tab. Here, made a side tuck. And this kept falling out. So I made a 
holder that would kind of help hold it in so it wouldn't fall out. Because this is a material and it doesn't want to tuck in and it's pretty thick. So it don't want to tuck in like it's supposed to. So there's that. Here's another journaling spot. Flip this over. This is a pocket. I put these on it, put this umber uh, feather on it. And then inside are two young ladies on in jars. And they're journaling cards as well. I got these out of another kit. And these just go right in here. And here I just punched out two little round circles, put them on the ends. Okay, so you flip the page, got this trim here. And that's the last of that trim. I'm gonna miss it. My last, I added this piece here. This was supposed to be in a fold-up pocket, but I didn't want this piece um, gone, so I just left it longer, added a piece of lace. This is a three-page journaling spot, or tag. I put the boho spirit on it and lapped it. Put a white lace on it. Lapped this page, put some flowers on it. Left these two pages. I got this out of another kit. It's an envelope. I don't know. It's been so long. I'll check. And then I put this card inside. Put these feathers here. This was from another sticker book from Dollar Tree. Made a tag last these two pages oh no I didn't this one let's see let me go back here I meant to do this anyways so I was gonna bring it forward Because I had a place for it. All that is is a tuck corner. That butterfly wing is printed on the paper and I printed it out again and made a tuck spot. And then this is a pocket. I put this butterfly on it, an envelope. And there's nothing in the envelope. So I still got something I got to stick in here. Put some red trim. Lock this page. Made a pull tab. Here is a, another belly bin with a journaling card. Here. I just use these little round tags, put them on here. This was supposed to be a journaling card. I made it into a pocket with some more of the gold trim. Put the purple lace. You see me put the the butter the feathers here. And you have another journaling tag here. It was pretty in blue. And then, same here. This was on the page, so I painted out two, made a pocket. And then this is a tag, and I just used part of that, what was supposed to be like a washi strip, made a half a tag. 
and used the other half here and made another belly band for this tag. So you got two tags, three tags in one. And then it all slides in here. Lop this image. I put this uh, flower and feather piece here. Here's another pocket that I put some lace and another piece of that with the purple for the butterfly. And then this one is just a tag. I put a, per a dolly down with some of the uh, material with some lace and an image and put that down. Map this page as a journaling spot. Left these two as a journaling spot, and then there's that, and then made this here, and it's material with lace, and here is my card that I made. And it's a big journaling spot as well. So. That is my journal with everything on it and in it. And then the so there it is all together. So, I hope you like my video. If you do, hit the like and subscribe. Uh, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next, but something will be coming up. Hope everyone has a happy day, and thank you for watching.